Have you ever wondered how divorce affects men differently than women? It's a question that's not often asked, yet it's a reality that many men face. Today, let's explore how divorce impacts men, the emotional, financial and societal effects that come with it, and hint at some common mistakes made before and after the divorce. Divorce is never easy, it's a whirlwind of emotions, a sea of legalities, and a storm of adjustments. For men, it can be an especially challenging journey. While the emotional toll is often discussed, the financial and societal impacts are rarely touched upon. Men like women feel the sting of emotional pain during a divorce. They face feelings of loss, disappointment, and even failure. The end of a marriage can shatter self-esteem, leaving many men to grapple with feelings of worthlessness and despair. But the emotional impact is just one facet of the divorce experience. Financially, men often bear a heavy burden. They may be expected to continue providing for their ex-spouse and children while also maintaining their own households. This financial strain can lead to stress, anxiety, and in some cases, serious financial difficulties. Societally, men can feel a different kind of pressure. The expectation to keep it together or be strong can be overwhelming. Men are often discouraged from expressing their emotions which can lead to isolation and further emotional distress. Moreover, there are common mistakes that men make during this process. Some let their emotions lead, others neglect self-care, and many ignore the financial implications of their divorce. These missteps can make the journey through divorce even more challenging and may result in regrettable outcomes. Understanding these mistakes and their consequences can help men navigate this difficult journey with fewer regrets and better outcomes. Divorce is a life-altering event, but it doesn't have to be a life-destroying one. With the right knowledge and support, men can move through and beyond divorce with resilience and hope. Understanding these mistakes can help men navigate the challenging waters of divorce with fewer regrets and better outcomes. This is our journey today. Join us as we delve deeper into each of these mistakes and their potential consequences in the coming scenes. The first mistake many men make is not considering mediation as an option. Mediation, in a nutshell, is a process where a neutral third party, known as a mediator, facilitates communication and negotiation between two disputing parties. It's about finding common ground, negotiating agreements, and most importantly, it's about maintaining control over the decisions that will shape your future. You see, in traditional court battles, decision-making is often left in the hands of lawyers and judges. While they are undoubtedly experts in their field, they often lack the personal context and understanding that you and your spouse have. Mediation, on the other hand, keeps the decision-making power with you. It encourages open communication and collaboration fostering an environment where both parties work together to reach a mutually satisfying agreement. Beyond the control it affords you, mediation also offers significant savings in terms of money, time and emotional energy. Court battles can be expensive, lengthy and emotionally draining. They can lead to bitter feelings and a sense of losing control over one's life. Mediation, however, is typically less expensive, quicker and less adversarial. It's a process designed to reduce conflict, not escalate it. Moreover, the benefits of mediation extend beyond the immediate situation. The skills and strategies acquired during mediation, such as negotiation, compromise and improved communication, can be invaluable in future interactions, particularly if children are involved. Mediation can help foster a positive post-divorce relationship, which is crucial for co-parenting. Additionally, mediation can provide a sense of closure. It's a process that encourages understanding and empathy, allowing both parties to voice their feelings, fears and hopes. It's not just about dividing assets, it's about acknowledging the end of a chapter and paving the way for a new beginning. By overlooking mediation, men can miss out on a less adversarial and more empowering way of handling divorce. Remember, divorce is a process, not a battle. And like any process, it can be navigated with dignity, respect and mutual understanding. The second mistake is allowing emotions to dictate actions during divorce proceedings. When the storm of divorce begins to brew, it's only natural for emotions to run high. Anger, sadness, confusion and even relief can swirl together, 
creating a tempest that can cloud judgment and reason. The problem arises when these emotions start to steer the ship, influencing decisions that have long-lasting consequences. It's akin to navigating a ship in a storm with a blindfold on. It's not only dangerous but also likely to lead you off course. Emotion-driven decisions can result in unfavorable outcomes during court proceedings. When anger or resentment takes the wheel, one might be tempted to fight for things out of spite rather than necessity or fairness. This can prolong the process, making it more costly in terms of time, money and emotional well-being. Moreover, letting emotions take the lead can jeopardize relationships. It's not just about your relationship with your ex-spouse, but also your children and extended family. If actions are driven by anger or revenge, it can strain these relationships, sometimes to the point of breaking. Children may feel caught in the crossfire of a battle they didn't choose, and family bonds can be irreparably damaged. So how does one keep emotions in check? It's about acknowledging your feelings, but not letting them dictate your actions. Seek support from professionals or trusted friends to help process these emotions. Engage in practices that foster clarity and calm, like mindfulness or meditation. And always, always remember that decisions should be based on logic, fairness and long-term consequences. Divorce is undoubtedly a turbulent journey, but it's important to remember that you're the captain of your ship. You have the power to navigate through the storm with wisdom and composure. By doing so, you're not only ensuring a smoother journey for yourself, but also for your children and family. By keeping emotions in check, men can make more rational decisions that benefit everyone involved. The third mistake is neglecting self-care during and after the divorce. This is an error that could have far-reaching consequences, not only emotionally, but also physically and mentally. When we talk about self-care, we're not just discussing bubble baths and spa days, though those can certainly be part of it. Self-care is about maintaining and nurturing all aspects of your well-being. It's about ensuring that you're eating well, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep, and taking care of your mental health. It's about taking time for yourself and engaging in activities that you enjoy and that help you relax and recharge. During a divorce, it's easy to let these things slide. There's so much going on, so many decisions to make, so many things to worry about. You might find yourself eating fast food more often than not because you're too stressed or too busy to cook. You might stop going to the gym because you're just too exhausted at the end of the day. You might find it hard to sleep because your mind is constantly racing. But neglecting self-care during this time can have serious consequences. It can lead to decreased productivity, impaired decision-making, and increased health risks. You might find it harder to focus at work or to make important decisions about your divorce. You might become more susceptible to illnesses, both physical and mental. And it's not just about the immediate consequences. Neglecting self-care can also have long-term effects. It can make it harder for you to recover from the stress of your divorce, to move on and build a new life for yourself. So how can you avoid this mistake? Start by recognizing that taking care of yourself is not a luxury, but a necessity. Make it a priority. Set aside time each day for self-care activities, even if it's just a few minutes. Eat healthy meals, exercise regularly, get enough sleep, seek professional help if you're struggling with your mental health. By prioritizing self-care, men can better cope with the stress of divorce and come out stronger on the other side. The fourth mistake is ignoring the financial implications of divorce. This is a significant misstep that many tend to overlook, but it can have far-reaching consequences on your financial stability and future. Divorce isn't just a severing of emotional ties, it's also a division of assets and often a complete upheaval of your financial life. There are numerous potential financial issues that can arise from divorce. For instance, there's the division of assets where everything you've accumulated during your marriage from the house to the car to the savings account, is split. Then there's alimony, a court-ordered provision for a spouse after separation or divorce. Alimony can be a large ongoing expense, particularly if the marriage was long-term. It's a financial obligation that requires careful planning and budgeting to manage. But let's not forget about child support. If you have children, there's a high probability that you'll be required to provide financial support for them. 
This is another ongoing expense that needs to be factored into your financial planning. Ignoring these financial implications can lead to serious problems down the line. You might find yourself struggling to make ends meet or worse, sinking into debt. That's why it's vitally important to have a solid financial plan in place. This plan should take into account all your potential expenses, including alimony and child support, and ensure that you have enough income to cover them. If you're not confident in your financial planning abilities, it can be hugely beneficial to consult with a financial advisor. They can help you navigate the complex financial landscape of divorce and ensure that you're making smart decisions that will protect your assets and secure your future. Remember, divorce is not just an emotional journey, it's a financial one too. Ignoring the financial aspects of divorce is like trying to navigate a stormy sea without a compass. It's risky and it can lead to disaster. By being financially savvy, men can protect their assets and ensure a more secure future. So as you navigate the choppy waters of divorce, make sure you're equipped with a solid financial plan. It's one of the best ways to ensure a smoother journey and a brighter future. The fifth mistake men often make is isolating themselves during and after the divorce. Yes, it's a challenging time, no doubt about it. The world may seem like it's crashing down around you, but it's at these times more than ever that you need your social network around you. You see, as humans, we're social creatures by nature. We thrive on connections, on shared experiences, on laughter and tears, on stories told and memories made. These connections are not just nice to haves, they're essential. They help us navigate the stormy seas of life, providing safe harbors when the waves get too high. When you isolate yourself, you're like a ship adrift without a compass. The loneliness and isolation can gnaw at your soul, leading to increased feelings of depression. It's like being stuck in a dark room with no windows. You're left alone with your thoughts, with no one to share your fears or your dreams, no one to help you see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's okay to feel vulnerable, it's okay to feel hurt, but it's not okay to wall yourself off from the world. You're not an island. You're a part of a vast interconnected network of people who care about you, who want to see you happy and thriving. So reach out to your friends, spend time with your family, join a support group, volunteer at a local charity, do whatever it takes to stay connected, share your experiences, your fears, your dreams. You'll find that in sharing, you're not only helping yourself, but also others who may be going through the same thing. And remember, it's okay to ask for help, there's no shame in admitting that you're struggling. In fact, it's a sign of strength. It shows that you're ready to face your challenges head on, that you're not willing to let them define you. By seeking support from friends and family, men can better cope with the emotional toll of divorce. So don't isolate yourself. Reach out, connect, share, and in doing so, you'll find the strength to navigate the stormy seas of life. In conclusion, there are several common mistakes that men make during and after a divorce. It's crucial to recognize these pitfalls and strive to avoid them to ensure a smoother transition and better outcomes. To begin with, not considering mediation is a frequent misstep. Mediation offers a more collaborative and less adversarial approach to divorce. It can help to reduce conflict, save money, and lead to more satisfying outcomes for both parties. By bypassing this option, men may end up in a more contentious and costly legal battle. Then, we have the issue of letting emotions lead. While it's natural to experience a whirlwind of emotions during a divorce, allowing these feelings to dictate decisions can lead to regrettable consequences. It's vital to approach divorce with a level-headed and rational mindset, focusing on the bigger picture and long-term effects. Next, neglecting self-care is a common mistake. Divorce can be an emotionally draining process, making it all the more important to prioritize physical and mental health. By neglecting self-care, men risk exacerbating the stress and strain of the situation, which can negatively impact their ability to make sound decisions. Ignoring the financial implications of divorce is another significant error. Divorce can have far-reaching financial effects, from asset division to alimony and child support. Failing to fully understand these implications can lead to unexpected financial hardship in the future. Lastly, isolating themselves is a mistake that many men make. While it's essential to have alone time to process emotions, completely isolating oneself 
can lead to feelings of loneliness and depression. Seeking support from loved ones and professional resources can make a world of difference. Divorce is a challenging journey, but by avoiding these mistakes, men can navigate it with more confidence and less regret. Remember, it's not just about surviving the process, but also about laying the foundations for a healthier and happier future post-divorce.